something, went into a paddock, and up forward to it. Well, hello everybody, it's uh, Suffolk Andy here, in a beautiful spot in Suffolk, as you can see. Scenery for miles, and miles and miles. Well, I stopped here to have a little vape. Stopped the old Harley and have a little vape and chill out for five minutes. And I noticed this. Private. No public right of way. And, you know, bloody incense me, really. Because this is a track that runs from one road to another road down the bottom there. And we've got a sign here saying, no public right of way, private. You know, what gives them the right to tell us we can't walk down this track? You know, okay, they might own all this land, as far as the eye can see. But we're not going to bugger it up, are we, by walking down here? You know what I mean? Getting from one road to the next, or enjoying ourselves with a dog, or, or out with the family for a walk. Just because they own all this land, they don't fucking want you on it, you know. And I know I've done a, a vid uh, ooh, several months back on all this, but this just pisses me off, you know. Apparently we should have the right to roam, apparently, in this country. I don't know if that means everywhere. But you're not going to walk onto this field and walk across these crops. You'd be a knob if you'd done that. That's not right. You know, that's respect. But my God, you can't even walk down a friggin' track because it's... Mine? Fucking hell, that pisses me off. It really does. Do you know, might sound a bit revolutionary, revolutionary really, but uh, I'd like to take the fucking lot off them, you know? I really would. Oh, I'll piss you off. Anyway, as you can see, we're in Suffolk. Nothing for miles. That way, nothing for miles that way. <laughs> Just me and the Harley. Right, I think I'm going to finish the ride off now. Now I've had my little... Oh, it pisses me off. It really does. You know. Most of us are not fortunate enough to own all this land or be left all this land or inherit all this land but oh people who do you know they really don't want you to enjoy it at all just because they own it doesn't mean that a, a normal person shouldn't enjoy it as well you know but there you go anyway he's going to get away with his old dog Pretty little spot. Yeah, I was, uh, you know, I always have a subject to make something. I don't know how I'm going to handle this one, but I'll try it the best I can. I'm going to talk about crash helmets. Now, I know we've all talked about crash helmets in the past, but I'm going to talk about open face and full face. You know, at the moment, I've got a full face helmet on here, as you can see. I'm on a Harley. Uh, a lot of people have said to me, Andy, now you've got the Harley, you should have an open face or a piss pot helmet, you know. And uh, I thought about it and I thought, yeah, that would probably go better with the bike, but I don't really, if I ever come off, I don't really want to smack my face in. That's the thing that stops me doing it. Uh, I haven't had an open face crash helmet in 30 years, I don't think, uh, and I don't think I ever will. Not that I don't like them or anything like that, and I think they do go better with this sort of bike. But I think in an accident or something like that, I think I cherish my face a bit more. Uh, I was watching a program on a telly the other night, and it was nothing to do with bikes, but the guy on there had had a, uh, a motorbike accident and uh, he had severe facial injuries from the accident. He's wearing an open face crash helmet. And uh, I looked at the injuries on his face and he was talking on this crime program thing and I thought fucking hell I wouldn't want that to be my face you know um, and the only thing I can tell you about is when uh, Aaron had his accident uh, he was wearing a uh, AGV race helmet 
and he caught the top of the car with his chin or the top of the door uh, with a chin and flipped him over well I've still got that crash helmet that's in my garage so I might take it, well I will, I'll take a picture of it and show you uh, the front of the crash helmet so you realise you know what I'm saying about safety on uh, in crashes because if you hadn't worn that with all the horrific injuries you received he'd have smashed his face in or his jaw or might even have killed him and I'll put that up so you can have a look right this is the crash helmet that Aaron was wearing in his accident as you can see it's quite damaged at the front uh, especially around the chin area so if we can get in a little bit closer there you go so you can imagine what would have happened if he'd uh, been wearing an open face crash helmet he'd have probably uh, smashed his jaw in and his lower part of his face and uh, with all the other injuries that he received this might have been one injury too many so this helmet done its job in a frontal collision there rest my case now don't get me wrong I'm not criticizing anybody who wears an open face crash helmet preference is your desire as they say and uh, I don't think anybody who wears uh, an open face crash helmet is stupid in the, you know at all that's not what I'm trying to get at I just personally think that wearing a a full face crash helmet is a little bit more safer uh, in an accident you know especially if you hit your face you know I know your head is protected with one just as well as it is protected with uh, with a full face so it'd be interesting to see what you boys think you know do you actually think about safety when you when you buy a crash helmet do you think oh I better wear a full cra uh, full face crash helmet because the safety element or oh, it doesn't bother you you know you just think oh, I've got to have a helmet it suits this bike and uh, that's what I'm going for be interesting to see really I know in my scooter days <laughs> scooter days when I was a mod uh, all you could buy was the old Centurion helmets open face and we all wore them you know it was normal I don't even think at that time a proper full face crash helmet was out nearly 40 years ago but uh, since they've been out I wouldn't go back to a open face even on this Harley I've got to go and uh, get a new crash helmet soon anyway because uh, the one I'm wearing now is coming up it's nearly five years old and it's now starting to show its age the shoey uh, so I'm just going to go and get another shoey because uh, I like them that's, uh, you know that's the only thing and there's some lovely crash helmets out there I went to my local bike shop the other day just to check some different uh, makes you, you know if you're going to get one offline you've got to make sure one fits you before you order it I tried several on but I still like the shoeys but yeah so going back to this uh, open crash helmet open crash helmet thing do you think wearing different crash helmets for different bikes suits that bike and you ain't got to worry about the uh, worry too much about the safety element of it let me know be interested it's only a short one today but uh, one or two questions in there and uh, like I said I'm not criticizing anybody for wearing an open face crash helmet because it's your prerogative and uh, you know you'd be daft if you didn't wear a crash helmet at all Anyway, that's enough of me. Ride safe, everybody. Love each other. Something handy.